Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about the pulley to new node which is even better than before. It now supports two images, works seamlessly with Tcash and utilizes wave speed to significantly increase generation speed. Now the first step for this is you must first in uninstall or disable the Comfy UI Pulit Flux and any other Pulit Flux nodes before installing this plugin. This is because both Comfy UI Pulit Flux and the Comfy UI Pulit Flux use the same node name. Apply Pulit Flux, which can cause conflicts. To run the new Pulit 2, First, navigate to the Comfy UI Manager section. Search for Pulit 2 and install it in your Comfy UI. After uploading the workflow, you may encounter a missing node error. To resolve this, go to the Manager Missing Nodes where you can install the missing nodes. Next step is go to your Comfy UI Custom Node folder. Locate the folder named Comfy UI Pulit Flux 2 and open it then open that folder in command and type the following command pip install minus r requirements that dot text this will install the libraries required to run this workflow moving forward you need to download this pulled underscore flux underscore version 0.9.1 safe tensors files in your models pull it folder of comfy ui and then save it to run this workflow you need next file is eva02 clip l14336 if you want to save it manually you need to come here on this link click on it and then download from this link and save it manually in your models models clip folder of comfy ui then next point is antelope v2 models and to run this workflow the same thing goes for this if you want to save this manually you have to click on this link download all these files and save it in your antelopes models folder of comfy ui moving forward you need face xlib for this model and for that you have to download all these three files and models face xlib folder of comfy ui the, all these three files will be saved here next point is you now you have to install two nodes one is dcache and another one is wave speed now go to your comfy ui search in your manager section tcache so once you find it you have to install once tcache is installed next to install is wave speed and for that you have to go to comfy UI's custom node folder open the folder in command prompt copy the provided link here and paste it in this window now press enter once the process is complete wave speed will be installed once everything is done you are ready to go now we have created two workflows first one is one image workflow and the another one is two image workflow so first we will work on this one in one image workflow for this you have to download from here and open in your comfy ui so this is the diagram and i have created a more advanced workflow that includes new nodes like tcash wave speed and a setup without either of them in the preview the image is generated without any boost nodes the second preview uses tcash and the third preview is generated using wave speed we'll also cover and compare the results of all three to see the difference so what are tcash and wave speed these are applications that utilizes specific nodes to significantly boost the speed of ai image generation for example 
if the base image generation takes second 10 seconds using these nodes can reduce the time to just 5 seconds effectively doubling the speed and you can enable disable by bypassing this so let's move on to the next part as you can see here i have added a group named style transfer if you want to generate an image in a specific style like a cartoon or any other style you can simply upload it here the best part of this workflow is that you can easily enable or disable the style transfer feature from this section let's move on to the latent input switch here you can manually select the resolution of your image to do this choose input 1 in the empty sd3 latent node you can then set any width and height you want for your image but if you select input 2 the resolution of the generated image will match the resolution of the image you uploaded in the style transfer it will automatically adjust the width and height based on the uploaded image ensuring the result matches its resolution now let's move on to the basic scheduler here you will see three different schedulers arranged vertically the first one is the the first one is base the second is t cache and the third is wave speed in this section you can select the number of steps for the process by default it's set to 20 but you can increase it to 30 if you want higher quality results let's start generating ai result with using this workflow so to generate the result in this model i have taken this uh, random image and uploaded here and this is the prompt i have given portrait of women sadness wearing business attire with black choppy layers etc and whereas i have given this width and height 832 by 1216 so let's start generating the result and let's see what outcome it has given to us so finally we have got the results of all these three base t cache and wave speed so here you can notice is the face is intact and the same according to the image we had uploaded and this is the best part of this model also it has go, gone according to the prompt which i had given but the face is intact but in case of comparison base t cache and wave speed all these three have come up in 170 seconds as a result so in terms of speed all these three are similar but base is more accurate in terms of quality as you can see the background is also according to the prompt we had given in terms of comparison yes we can say base is more good in comparison to tcash and wave speed but those two tcash and wave speed is also good so finally we have seen the results of base tcash and wave speed now i want this style and the face should be intact as according to the first picture which i had uploaded earlier now we will enable style and will go for the same width and height but we will change the input as two and the prompt which i have given is as a striking futuristic character with glowing blue eyes and a confident expression etc etc as you can see here now let's start generating the results so this is the result i have got for all these three base t cache and wave speed you can see as i had told the face will in be intact the face will not change but it has followed the prompt it has gone according to the style which i wanted here is a girl you can see the girl with blue eyes and this all all scene is in all these pictures but the face is intact so let's try another example with another picture so 
I have uploaded this image as in style and the I want the face of the small girl should be same according to the earlier one which I had uploaded and given the another prompt as you can see here so let's start try generating the results so finally we have got the results and as you can see it has followed the prompt which I had given like high detail extreme close up portrait of a beautiful vampire woman with piercing red eyes long silver hair dark smoky eyeshadow blood red lips but all are with slight differences and the speed of all these three in same time but as I had explained earlier the face is intact and it has followed the prompt of style and focus on image resolution and prompt details it has followed but if we talk about the result comparison tcache and wave speed hasn't generated the good results as per the prompt so here base result gets more points now moving forward to the next so this is the second workflow to image workflow you have to download this and once downloaded open it in your comfy ui here you can see this is the workflow the best part of this workflow is that you can upload two images one for image one and another for image two the system will then generate a single image that combines the facial features of both uploaded images creating a result that resembles both to make this work we use two pulled nodes one connected to image one and the another connected to image two the weight is set to one by default which tells the ai to generate an exact match of the faces if you decrease the value like setting it to 0.2 you will get a completely different face at 0.7 the face will look somewhat similar to the uploaded images however if you increase the value beyond 1 the result may deteriorate it's best to keep the value at 1 or around 0.9 for optimal results to achieve the best composition it's important to understand the mask se section in the mask composite node there are two key values x and y this node generates a black and white mask the white section is connected to image 1 and the black section is connected to image 2 the x value adjusts the position of the white area and the white and the y value adjusts the position of the black area by increasing the x value you can change the composition for example if you set the x value to 1000 as you can see in the mask section the white area is completely removed and all parts are assigned to image 2 if you reduce the x value to 100 the composition shifts and position changes this is how the mask works and you can experiment with it to create different results if desired by going it to the by going to the empty later node you can change the resolution and we used t cache node for fast generation if you don't want this you can disable this by right click and bypass it so now let's generate the result using this workflow i have given this prompt like on the frigid icy surface of a distant planet two women are captured in a close-up shot they are bundled in thick insulated hoodies it, their striking purple hair barely visible against the harsh so this is the overall prompt i have given and the settings i have already told you so let's generate the results using this workflow so finally the result has been generated and as you can notice i had already explained that this workflow will work on two images and the result will resemble both in the final picture with multiple people with same face profiles and the best part is it has generated it in just around 46 seconds but the details it has followed according to the prompt which are exact the same so that's all for today's video 
please like share and subscribe if you like my content and stay tuned for the next learning session bye bye